Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm bringing back another clothing haul. I picked up a few items that I've been really loving and I want to share with you guys before they get off um, online. So you can buy most of these products online, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, let's just get started. So the first few items are from Misguided and the first item that I got off Misguided is this black... Oh, I'll link everything down below, but if you want to find it, it's called the Contrast blanket jacket and this was $58. When I ordered off Misguided, I got 30% off because they were having like a one day sale kind of thing. They always have that kind of stuff so if you want to order off Misguided, you want to look out for that because they have it quite frequently so you want to keep your eyes peeled for that. And I've ordered from them two times in the past and this is my third time ordering from them. So yeah, I did get 30% off. If I didn't, then I wouldn't have ordered anything because it's just kind of pricey. This jacket is originally, I think, $90, but I got it for, like I said, $58, which is a really good bargain for such a nice quality coat. So I got this in a size 8. I was going to get a size 6, but then I like coats to be more oversized, and I really do like the material of it. You can tell that it is really good quality, and you can see it's going to be really warm on the inside. It just has that um, satin material and it flips out so the collar is this beige camel color and then it's black. I feel like this is just a staple for um, winter time. Winter is coming up soon in New Zealand in a couple of months. I'm just getting myself prepared for winter. And I saw this coat and it was 30% off so I was like why the hell not? I wanted to get it. So the only thing I can say, I did try it on, it is quite boxy on me but I feel like it's just, it's so new I haven't worn it yet and it's just you know, really stiff at the moment, but after I wear it a couple of times and it goes through a few washes, then it's gonna be really comfortable. I just really love this and it's such a good quality. I was really scared when it was coming in, like, is the quality gonna be good or not? And I'm really surprised. It is a really good material and it's really well made. It's, you can just tell this is a well made coat and I really love it. This item I got from Misguided are these mom jeans. I've been wanting mom jeans or boyfriend jeans for a really long time. And as you can see, there's like a really big rip in here. And on the model, the rip didn't look so big and like really bad. But when I tried it on, I feel like my thighs are too, I guess, thick. For this size, the size I got was, I got a size 8. I could have probably fit a size 10 because up here I'm really, really skinny. Like my shoulders are really narrow and like I'm just really skinny on top. My arms are like a little stick. But um, my waist down, I have more of a wider hip but then my waist is quite small. It was harder to put on around my hip because it's more wider and then my waist goes in like that. So it fits my waist but my hip uh, just is just a bit more wider and I probably would have been okay with getting a size 10. It, and the legs, it fits nicely, it's just the hole is way too big. It just looks really weird on me. I do not like this at all so I think I will return this and this I got it for $50. I think originally it is 70 I would not returned it if the hole wasn't as extreme as it is. I mean, it is called extreme ripped mom jeans, but this is a bit too extreme for me. And on the model, I think she just has skinnier legs and it just looked better on her. But this is a bit too open for me and I'm probably just going to return I mean, I like these ones, like these little holes here. These are all good, but yeah, these two big massive holes here is just... I don't really like it. I'm probably going to return this one. So yeah, just keep that in mind. I would really recommend these jeans if you do like that humongous rip. Like if you're into that and you think you can rock it, then that's pretty cool. The material is really nice. I really do love the jeans. It's really comfortable. And also if you don't have really like long legs, um, this doesn't, I don't really have to like, I would cuff these anyway, but they don't run long on me. So they're really, this is like a really nice quality jean. It's just the only reason why I'm returning it is just cause of this humongous rib, it doesn't look flattering on me personally. For my next item, I have this number here. It is just a basic turtleneck t-shirt dress. And when I saw it on the model, I thought the material would be a bit different. I thought it would be like a cotton material, but this is more of um, a chiffon material. It's really thin, and the one on the model, I thought it would be really thick. You know, nice for winter, for layering. But it's just, um, this is what it looks like on the top. You'll see better on the cutaway, but it has just the typical turtleneck t-shirt sleeves and it just comes down around like mid thigh. 
And I got this in a size 8, so most of my clothes I got in a size 8. I feel like this hits me a little bit weird. I'm not going to return it because I feel like I can save this. I could just simply add a belt um, around my waist. I could just make this look like to a t-shirt slash um, skirt kind of thing, and that will look fine, and I do like it. It's just, it hits a bit weird on me, but I think I just have um, a long torso and a short legs so maybe that's why but I do like it the material is nice it's not what I was expecting but I like it anyway and I love this color like I just it's like a gray purpley kind of tone and I just really like it and the material feels nice it's really well made I mean misguided clothes I don't never had a problem with their clothes it's always really well made and I won't be returning this one because I do like it. it just has an invisible zip at the back so you know nothing it's really simple it's really classic it's really chic and I really love this one and then the last thing I got from Misguided it's something pretty simple and a basic but it's a staple and I know I'll wear for a really long time it's this black midi skirt and I got this in a size 6 and this was $20 so 30% off I don't know the original price but um, yeah this is a really well made midi skirt the one I have it's a grey one it's more like a knitted one this is a cotton material but it's really really thick so you could definitely pull this off in winter time because it is well it depends how cold your winter is in New Zealand I think I could handle this in winter with you know some nice sneakers on the bottom. It hit me quite long but I don't mind that. Before I would never wear midi skirts because I just thought it would make me look shorter but I actually like how it looks on me especially if it's tight so the reason why I went with a size 6 and not a size 8 because if it was size 8 it would just probably look too big on me and with midi skirts you probably would want it more tight than loose unless you're going for like a maxi skirt then that's okay if it's a bit more wavy and loose but a midi skirt you definitely want it tight to really hug onto your curves and I do like it the material is really really nice I'm really impressed with the quality of it so for 20 bucks for a midi skirt like this is definitely worth it so like I said just keep your eye out for all the sales they have because it's definitely worth it when they do and then from Blassons I picked up two t-shirts it was two for $35. Bought two t-shirts from them before and I really love it. I wear it all the time. So I decided to pick up two more and I got this one here. It's just a basic t-shirt. The sleeves are rolled up. It's white with a navy collar and I've been really liking this kind of style. I also got another one in this color here. It is black and gray but instead this one actually has the black on the sleeves. This one is just folded but this one isn't. So I really do like these. If you just want to get one, I think they're $20 for one, which is pretty expensive when you think about it, like just $20 for like a plain t-shirt. But if you get it for $35, it just kind of sounds cheaper. So yeah, I got these two and I really like it. I haven't worn this one yet, as you can see the tag is still on it, but I've worn this one. I've been waiting to not wear this one yet because I want to wear it with my next item that I'm going to show you. And it's just this denim skirt that I got from Dottie. So this skirt is from Dottie. I, this is really in like this trend is really in I see so many girls wearing denim skirts these days and this is in a size 10 I was like so shocked that I'm a size 10 now because not because I'm like you know concerned about my body weight or anything like that it's just I never thought I'd fit into a size 10 I usually am I like I could squeeze into a size 6 or a size 8 but I feel like I'm just growing a bit more my like my down my lower half is really bigger than my upper half I mean I don't look like weird weird but it's you know I need a gym and just work out my upper half but I got a size 10 in this one just because the size 8 was a bit too tight and I know for this kind of skirt I want to tuck stuff in like I had this t-shirt in mind where I want to tuck in and if it was too tight it would be really hard to tuck in something like this so this does have a little space around my waist and I can definitely tuck more stuff in and I just feel like these two like how cute is that how can I show you show you how cute is that I mean that's just like a casual everyday outfit I mean I love it and I like these two together originally $60 but they were having 30% off all full prices items and I only got it for like $42 so as you can see when I buy clothes I definitely look out for sales I wouldn't splurge $60 on just a denim skirt you know what I mean like I always look out for sales because I'm cheap like that like clothes these days if you want to get quality and affordable clothes it's really really hard to find so when shops like Glassons and Misguided and Dottie when they have like 30% off and they have it frequently so I always just save my money 
for those kind of times and just splurge then instead of just buying it full price because I feel like it's really not worth it. I mean, I would not have bought this if this was 60 bucks. $42, I, it's still expensive, but I mean, I can, you know, denim skirts is expensive and denim is expensive, so, and this is a really well made, like, quality skirt, so $42 is not that bad, $60 I probably would not spend. And I've been keeping, I've been looking for a skirt like this for a really long time. My boyfriend doesn't like how the buttons are there, but I feel like it gives a really cute, like, girl next door kind of touch, so I like it, but maybe some people are not really into that kind of style. And the last thing I have is this t-shirt that my friend got me when she went to China. She just came back recently. It's really, really cute. <laughs> it's like, it just says, I'm a cat, and it has, like, that Chinese, um, good luck cat. It's really cute and it says, it says in Japanese, I'm a cat and it says underneath, I'm a cat. So it has that same style where the collar is a different color and the sleeves is like that. It has that style to it and it just says, I'm a cat all around. So yeah, that's pretty cute. I mean, do you not find that cute? Funny how all my friends would just get me cat stuff because I'm freaking obsessed with cats and I'm like gonna die with 10 million cats in my house when I'm 80. That is everything that I got for clothing wise. I want to show you guys a pair of sunglasses that I got from Key. I used to always pronounce it Quay, but it's actually pronounced Key. So um, these are the girly talk sunglasses and it looks something like this. I'll put it on for you guys so you guys can see. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. This is what it looks like on me. I really love it. I love how it's a cat eye and I wanted to get something that was not like typically black because I always get black sunglasses because I feel like it goes with everything. But I do love how it's like that rosy goldy shade and it has that leopard tint around here. It looks like this on the side. I really like it. I mean, I love cat cat eye glasses I feel like it suits my face shape a lot and since I have a really big head and big sunglasses it kind of like hides most of my face so it makes my face look a bit smaller and I really like it um the only thing that I don't like about it is um it has that that clear stuff over here and if you wear it for too long you're gonna get like a little mark but I mean the mark is only gonna be there for like 10 minutes so it's not a big deal but you know, I like it. I really do like it. And did I say this one is called Girly Talk? It just pulls an outfit together. I mean, look how chic I look now because of these glasses. And now if I just take them off, I just look casual. And I just love these glasses and I love them. So yeah, I got these off White Fox Boutique. If your first order, I believe you get 10% off. And I got 10% off on this one. So I don't know how much I paid for it. I think this was originally $72 or something like that. But yeah, um, if you do your first order, you can get 10% off or whatever. And um, a lot of YouTubers do like White Fox Boutique calls and they usually have coupon codes. So look out for that as well. And I'm just happy I got a new pair of sunglasses. So that is everything for my clothing haul. I loved everything that I bought besides the mom jeans, which I am going to return. But that's okay. I do like the style of it. I do love how it fits, the quality and everything. It's just the extreme rip that I'm not too fond of. But everything else I absolutely love. Um, remember, I'll link all the links down below. I'm pretty sure all of it will be still in stores. So open the description box and check those clothing out if you do like it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this clothing haul. Comment down below what your favorite stores are to shop on because I'm always looking for new boutiques to shop at. And yeah, like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel to see more and until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!